This is about brush border cells of the small intestine. Hi. Research by Dr. Kreiselman. This cell type belongs to the digestive system. This system is responsible for breaking down the large molecules in the food into their monomers. For example, includes stomach, small intestine, liver, large intestine, rectum and anus, and also the pancreas, gallbladder and appendix. Not to mention the salivary gland. The digestive system, as we know, it is in the in, is most it takes most of the space in the internal uh, organs of the body, and the small intestine is after the esophagus, before the stomach, before the stomach. Very very folded long intestine which is called the small intestine. The cells are the brush border cells of the small intestine. So along the tube, the cell, the, the tissue is making long, 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 long folded of the tissues. This is the tissue. And if we look closer, the brush border BB cells are for example, two right here. And the length is about two micrometers wide. Microscopic images of brush border cells within the epithelia of the small intestine. So here's, these are cells that are lining the intestine. And each one of them is an epithelial cell with microvilli. You can see it better here. The microvilli, this is part of one cell, the microvilli are folds of the membrane of the, my, the brush border cell. This is all one membrane folded onto itself. The function of the brush border cells in the small intestine, what do they do? They do the last steps of digestion of carbohydrates and also proteins. They are the ones that end up in contact also with the blood that collects the digested food, as shown here. So partially digested food molecules from the stomach and intestine get into the brush border cells and they break down inside the cell, they break down more uh, of the molecules and then send it to diffusion into the bloodstream. Or closer here, for example, here are small fragments of carbohydrates broken down to the individual glucose and they diffuse to the blood vessel. If the brush border cells do not work properly, for example, because of infection, then there is no proper digestion of food or the digested food does not get to the body and inflammation is also caused fever and all if the brush border call cell la is lacking microvilli such as an inherited microvillus atro atrophy it will cause the newborn baby to die Interactions of brush border cells with other cells of the body. Well, for example, brush border cells are more active in digestion if they are exposed to insulin and other hormones that have to do with the digestion and metabolism. The structure of the brush border cell supports its function because the micro microvilli give a huge surface area for efficient absorption of nutrients. much greater surface area, surface contact with the food coming into the intestine. Uh, molecules in the intestine brush border 
cell that are found in any cell are, for example, phospholipids, respiration, respiration proteins, ATP, and many more. And molecules that are special to intestine brush border cells are enzymes of digestion, amylase, cellulase, invertase that breaks down sugar, peptidase that breaks down, breaks down small proteins, and uh, malt diastase or maltase also breaks down small carbohydrates. For example, of a specific molecule, we have the enzyme amylase, which is a protein. Uh, order of magnitude, so if the body is about one, two meters in the level of meters, the intestine is about 10 times smaller than that, and the tissue can be described as in centimeters, and then you have the brush border cells at the level of 10 micrometers, it's 10 micrometers. The molecules are on the scale of nanometers, one over a billion of a meter, and one single atom is the level of angstrom, or 10 to the minus 10 meters. Interesting facts about brush border cells. Brush border cells are cool. The intestinal epithelium cells have one of the fastest rates of reproduction of any tissue in the body. With microvilli, the absorption is 300 times faster as compared to a regular unfolded membrane. What did you learn today? Question number one. Why are brush border cells called this way? Number two. What is the purpose of their brush-like structure? Number three. What part of the intestine are the brushes facing, in or out of the intestine? And these are the resources that I used. Thank you for listening.